Now, Stefan, you were on here before talking about hydroponics and hydroponic systems. So why do hydroponics anyway? Well, let's just say you actually don't have the space to have a garden. Hydroponics is a great thing that you can actually have in your home, um, set up your own climate and start growing, uh, even during the winter time, winter months, during the fall, uh, year round, you can actually grow with hydroponics. Sounds good to me. I think we could do that. Now, what about building a hydroponic system? Oh, it's fairly simple, uh, a few parts, um, inexpensive, and something that you can actually assemble within an hour or two. Huh. All right, now, Scott, how do we go about setting up a hydroponic system? You want to talk about some of the parts we have here? Or? Yeah, absolutely. The okay, sure. first step is to make sure we have all of the parts okay. and everything is in order. First thing we're going to need is some kind of a storage tote, okay. preferably something a little bit more durable, like this black and yellow tote, Okay. just so as you move around the uh, hydroponic system, it doesn't go breaking over time and isn't, doesn't get worn down from like the lights outside or okay. what have you. And also some of the uh, smaller pieces, like some of the neck cups and neoprenes, things that actually house the plant. And then, of course, the PVC parts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have 10 feet of pipe that will roughly make a tote. Usually a little bit more than 10 feet is needed. Um, a few elbows and some tees. <laughs> okay. And that's just to make the actual frame of the spray system inside of the tote. Okay. All right. So you want to get started on building a system for yeah, us? Yeah, absolutely. Right, let's, let's get go it going, ahead. man. All right. Let's get it going. Uh, will you hand me the tape measure, Stefan? All right. The first step is to open up the tote and get some measurements of the inside. Okay. That way we can go ahead and start measuring and cutting our PVC. All right. I'll take that. Thank you. All right, and a good way to start is going to be to get the width measurements. And how you want to do this is you just want to go, what the uh, PVC frame will do is actually sit down, recessed about two inches. So we're going to come down about two inches, and it looks like we're going to be right at about 16 and a half on width. We'll go ahead and get the length measurement as well. Here, why don't you come to right there? Yeah. Okay. About 26 and three okay. quarter inches. All right, all right. So that'll be the good base. And what makes up the tote is the PVC. And how that frame works is we have elbows on each side, or each corner, and then we will have tees on the bottoms. And then in the middle, we have the downspout for our water pump. Ah, gotcha. Okay. And then that'll pretty much look just like that. Hmm. And then these few pieces will be for the pump and to screw into the pump. And that's the basic layout of <laughs> okay. how the total work. All right, so the first step is going to be to cut the pieces of PVC that'll fit in between these tees. So what we're gonna do, it looks like for 16 and a half inches, we'll need about four and a quarter inch PVC, pi PVC pipe to fit in between each one of these things. Okay. Cool, and we will get cutting. You wanna do some cutting, Chris? Hey, I can try. Excellent, cool. I can do that. We can take that, and what we'll do Go ahead and grab this piece of PVC and we'll start measuring. I'm gonna do four and it looks like a quarter. So if you wanna make a mark right about there, Chris. Right, right there, will you? Absolutely. Yeah, and we'll make six of these. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, and that is the start of the tote. How about that? And what we wanna do before we make all six is we'll make one side of the tote. And we'll go ahead and check it with the inside diameter just to make sure that we're on track. Okay, okay. Right. And since we're not gonna be using any PVC glue, we wanna go ahead and just smash these together real quick. That way everything's nice and snug and we wanna check that and make sure it fits the phone. All right. Awesome. All right. And you do want a little bit of a snug fit just cause things aren't glued together and that way it doesn't pop off. Okay, okay. gotcha. We'll just go ahead and do that one more time. Okay. So those are our ends done. And next thing we're gonna do is measure the inside. So we're gonna do these 12 inch pieces. We're gonna do four of those. And one big reason we're using these cutters like we are instead of a saw or what have you, is because when you go to cut PVC like that, mm -hmm. it'll turn into a fine dust. Right, I've seen and that. And that's, okay. that's the bane of any hydroponic system. And it's really just a few simple pieces and the tote starts to come together on its own. Yeah, it sure is. And now we're gonna cut two 25 inch sections, uh -huh. sections for the outside. Hmm. 
All right. All right. Go ahead and put these on. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to build the down stem for the pump. So that consists of a T, and this is going to sit in the middle like this, and it's just going to serve as a down stem. And then we will cut a few pieces to hook all of this together. Okay. We're going to make one and three quarter inch pieces. We're going to do two of those to fit on the inside of this. So it'll just snugly fit in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a bevel, there's a okay. bevel on in the inside of each one of the fittings, and it's three quarters of an inch. Okay, I got you. So that okay, way your it. pipe slides in and stops. Okay. Go ahead and throw that in there. All right. Yeah. Let me face that. Let's face it up. Yeah. All right. Yeah, cool. Now, let's check it. Yeah, it's looking like it's just a little bit long. Like I said, each tote's gonna be just a tiny bit different. Right. Maybe let's start with a half inch. Half inch. Just so we don't take too much mm -hmm. off. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That is what we want. You want it to fit in there a little a little snug okay. just so it doesn't move around or anything okay. like that. All right. cool. And that is the basis of the spray frame. Okay. And our next right. step is gonna be to mark our holes and then tap and dive them. All right, for our sprayers. Indeed. We're going to have three sprayers on each one of the ends, and then this long end is going to have three, and then we'll have two on each one of these. Okay. And we have two different kinds of sprayers that go into these totes. We have 180 degrees, and you can see that they have a 180 degree plane yeah, of spray. See. That way you're not hitting the back of the tote and causing any backsplash that would encourage it to leak. Okay. So yeah. these will be placed on the... Outer, and, outer ends. Yeah, and these okay. will go on the outer okay. ends. Okay. Spraying in. We have a 330 degree. It has two directions of spray instead of just the one from the 180. That way you can get both sides. Okay. And those will go on each one of these. Okay. Because what we found in these that we can have such prolific root growth that the roots will get so dense they'll create dry pockets on the inside. Okay. So you have to have plenty of these just to get around all those nicks and curves. And it doesn't have to be perfect. All you really okay. want to do is just try and center them as much as possible. So we'll put one there, one there, and we'll go ahead and just repeat this for all of them. And try and get them as straight as you, you can, but it's not too big of a deal. Right. And these are going to be our tools for making the sprayers. This is uh -huh. uh, just a regular drill bit. Okay. It's going to be 1024 is tap and a dot. So what we do, what we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to drill out each one of these holes, and once those are done, we're going to clear them all out. And then we're going to go back with the die, and that's actually how we're going to achieve the thread. Okay. And one thing I would like to caution people about is when you are drilling the holes, make sure you get it as straight up and down as possible, because if you don't, sometimes the sprayers will have a tendency to leak. All right, now that we have all the holes, we can go through putting the threads. Mm -hmm. All right, when you do this, you want to put your drill on the lowest setting just so you don't grind up the threads. Okay. You turn it down a little bit, and then again, straight up and down as possible. You just slow about it. Mm -hmm. That is essentially how this works. And this drill bit, it'll be a tight fit at first. But at the very tip of it, it'll start to cut away at the hole just to help increase that diameter a little bit. And then the threads will start to take over okay. after that. Uh -huh. And then when you do bring it back up, you just kind of let the drill carry itself because if you pull too much, you'll mess up the threads. You don't have to go too much, just maybe a quarter of an inch in the PVC. Just enough to get the threads. And then again, when you do come out, just slow. And then make sure you try and clear away all this little debris, because if you mm -hmm. do get that in there, they'll tend to clog up these sprayers, and then you'll have fun. Okay. All right, that was the last hole, right? Yep, last hole. Now all we have to do is get it cleaned out, and we can throw the sprayers in it, and then we can get to cutting up the tote. Uh oh, ah, here you go. Yes. <laughs> be forceful with it. Yeah. 
Just make sure we lay everything out so we don't get it mixed up. Yeah, you can see the the debris on the inside, and all we got all we want to do is just take the bamboo and knock that off, okay. so it doesn't inhibit the system later on. All right. A little bit came out of there. Yeah. Right. Good to go. Yeah. That came out of that one. Yeah. Now back to assembly. Indeed. Now let's install the sprayers. We're going to put these 180 degrees on the outside just so we don't get any backsplash when we put them in the tote. And most of these parts are fairly cheap at your local hydroponics store. The sprayers, they're 30 cents. Okay. The neck cups and neoprenes, they're 25 to 30 cents each as well. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure for the downspout that connects the pump to the sprayer manifold. And how we're gonna do that is we're just gonna set this in here, how it would naturally lay. About two inches down in there. And then we will get the pump. Stick that bad boy right there. <laughs> you wanna come help us out, Chris? Yeah. Cool, you wanna measure for me? Let's measure from the bottom of this to the top in, of the pump. In it? No. Okay, just right, right there. there. Yeah. Okay. You see that? Cool. Seven and a quarter inches. Cool. All right, so we got seven and a quarter inches. And we still have to account for that three quarters of an inch difference on each one of these sides. Oh, cool. So what we're going to do to account for those differences, we're going to take two and a quarter off of this. All right, cool. And what we're going to do with this, let me see those one more time. So we're just gonna cut it into two pieces, one a little bit longer than the other. And what the smaller piece will serve as is the part that actually stays connected to the pump, which okay. is why we have this half inch coupling right here. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. And then we screw our half inch adapter to this, and this will actually be what connects to the pump. Uh-huh. Which, okay. and that fits on, on there. Top. Okay, yep. I got you. That way, it's seamless when we have this right, just sitting on top. On top. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yep. And it makes disconnecting Rather easy. Right. That way you can take it out. Yeah. Inside. Yeah, we can set that inside and and see where it stands. Indeed. <laughs> you can see it kind of it bulges up just a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a half inch off of this downstem, just so we can go ahead and get a nice little even plane. Okay. Because what this is what. The spray manifold doubles as is also support for the net cups when you get big mature plants and fruit. Also, okay. right. cool. And that is the completed spray manifold. How about that? All right, we have two different sizes, two different size hole saws for the uh, drain and the power plug hole. The power plug hole gets the one inch, and try and get it as close to the top of it as you can. You can even come in here and kind of tilt it up a little bit, get it started, and then level it out. What we're going to do is we're going to put a hole right here as close to the bottom as we can. We don't want to get too close to this lip, mm -hmm. or otherwise it won't have a good seal. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll come about halfway. And we're going to want to make sure that we clear up all these little frazzles, yeah, little frazzles. Little frazzles yeah. and stuff. And then sometimes these can be a little bit tricky to get in. <laughs> this is a half inch grommet. And grommet. what this does is it creates a watertight seal between the elbow and the actual body of the toe. Okay. That way we don't get any leakage. All right. And that is gonna be your drain. Yeah, how about that? We're gonna hook our 10 inch drain up to the elbow. And then we're just gonna put the elbow into the grommet. And you bring it in until you get it set up against the uh, barrier right there. Okay, that's it. And that is your drain finished. Uh, wh all right, what we do with the drain is you tilt it like this and just let it drain naturally. All right, so our next step is going to be to cut the holes in the top of the tote for housing our net cups. Okay. And if you would, would you hand me our cheat sheet? I will definitely do that. Excellent. I like cheat sheets. I do too. Yeah, do that. All right. 
As you can see, this uh, specific tote has 12 neck cups. Okay. There are 12 sites for each one of the neck cups. Let's come in here and cut each one of these. Ones. Use those for guides. All right, and then we can start drilling our holes. It's a good idea to have someone. All right, and now that we've drilled our holes, the next thing we want to do is go ahead and clear all the debris from the holes, and then we'll be ready to put some water in it, make sure everything is watertight. All right. All right, now that we have everything done for the tote, we have the tote, the top of the tote cut. Okay. We have the PVC manifold built, and we've connected some PVC to the pump. Now it's time to throw everything together. And our first step right now is to be, going to be to fill the basin with some water. All right. So, St Stefan, if you want to grab that other bucket. We do have water. Yeah, right. right. Yep. Now, how much do we need to fill it? We need about 10 gallons of water to get a uh, proper head pressure out of the sprayers. All right. I'm gonna grab the pump and let's load it in. All right. Let you. you stick the cord out of the cord hole in the back. Mm -hmm. Feed it on around. Connect up the PVC manifold. Should be good to go. Slide that in. Ah, oh, so now we have power. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looks like we need to turn it up a little bit. With the diaphragm. Yep. Nice. The tote is watertight, and as you can see, there's nothing coming out of the cord hole, so everything's good to go. All right. And all we do now is throw the top on and we can put some neck cups and some plants in it. And that is a tote. Cool. And our next step is going to be to put the neck cups in there. Okay. So what we we'll do? They each take 12. And what do these do? These actually support the plant. So okay. this is what we're going to plant in, okay. essentially. And these are going to be our neoprene collars. This is actually what holds the plant instead of the alternative like expanded clay media or vermiculite or perlite or mm -hmm. whatever. Okay. All right, now that we have everything set up, our next step is going to be to put some plants in it. Hey, let's get the plants in there. Cool. I actually brought some plants. Can you tell us what you brought? Absolutely. All right, here on this end, we have some San, Mar San Marzano tomatoes. Okay. And right here, we're going to have cinnamon basil and then Thai basil. And another San Marzano tomato, some Genovese basil, a sugar baby watermelon, a purple beauty bell pepper, and a cucumber. Okay. And the only thing we're going to do to plant these is just set it down in there. We might just take this off. We'll set it down in the neck cup. Okay. And then just. But before you do that, can you tell us what you have here? You just have the bottom of your. Okay. Yeah. Tomato plant. This is going to be uh, rock wool. Okay. It's a hydroponic planting material. It's just molten rock, spun like fiberglass. So it's nothing crazy. It's going to be inert. It won't have tendencies to raise or lower pH. Okay. It's just a good material, and as you can see, our clones have some roots coming out of the bottom already. Mm -hmm. So I these are already that. mature plants, and okay. they're ready to be transplanted. All right. Just set the neoprene around the plant. Neop neoprenes are a soft material, so they're not going to harm the plant at all or pinch the stem. And there you have it. And it is important to note that limitations with this system plant-wise are going to be root vegetables like potatoes and onions and mm -hmm. things like that. But um, every, anything that will grow above the surface, like tomatoes, cucumbers, pickles, bell peppers, every, anything like that, it'll grow quite prolifically. Okay. How about that? All right. And that is the tote. That's all it is. Real simple. Not a whole lot there. Definitely looks good. Absolutely. Fellas. Appreciate the demonstration. Yeah, no problem. Thanks right, for thank having us. Thanks for being here. All right, thanks. All right. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please click the subscribe button below.